Hey guys, this is Luke Gabriel here. Uh, today I'm doing a tutorial on how to basically go from uh, any Roblox message that you want to send through Discord. Um, since of the new update, uh, basically Discord has banned anything that comes from Roblox itself. So we're going to use something, basically an, an alternative called Slack. And uh, I'll show you guys how to do it. It took me like five minutes. Um, so it's basically from Roblox to Slack and then from Slack to Discord. And I made sure I tested it and everything and it works. So um, let's just go ahead and get started. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is basically create a game. And from within the game, you want to uh, disregard the module script for now. Go into your game settings. Turn on a turn on allow HTTP requests so that it'll basically allow anything that's coming uh, from Roblox to be taken out of Roblox, if that makes sense. Anyways, from there, you want to create a Slack account. So uh, I'm just going to sign in with Google. I'll do that real quick. All right, as soon as you enter Slack, uh, it'll sh give you this uh, page, I guess, this landing page. So you're going to go ahead and create a workspace. And then from there, you can just name this whatever. I just like to name it Roblox. And then from there, you can put like webhooks or something. This could be anything. So um, if you, I mean, I guess other people can use this as well. Kind of like inviting other people to your server. Basically, Slack is like another Discord server, but like, I don't know. I, I just saw it and I was like, oh, maybe this will work. So that's basically it. Um, yeah, it told me to try and, yeah, as you can see here, it's trying to make me install Slack and I don't want to. So, cause I won't need it after this. All right, so after that, um, there's other channels that it adds for you. But regardless, you're going to go into Open Channel Details and then go to Integrations. From here, we're going to add two apps. First one is Incoming Webhooks. So basically, anything coming from Roblox is going to be sent to here. Back to Slack. And we can just do the one from webhooks. Add incoming webhook integration. Yada yada yada. Now this will give you the webhook URL. So that's where you're gonna copy this. And then go back into this module script. And we're gonna paste this URL here. Like so. So uh, I'll make sure to put this in the description. All you'll have to do is insert the URL and you'll be good to go. All right, the next thing you're going to install is the outgoing webhooks. So this will basically make sure it'll basically make it so that anything coming from Slack will go to Discord. So and outgoing blah 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 blah. So yeah, you'll have that. I don't, I don't think you need to actually add that. I just wanted to make sure because there's actually a way to actually get it to. Discord. So I literally looked up just Slack to Discord. And then basically from there, you're going to, yeah, you're going to connect your Discord to Slack. And basically, as you can see here, if there's any new messages within the channel, it'll send a channel message, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to do that real quick. Uh, continue, continue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And from there, yeah, you'll just get started. You'll connect this. Yada, yada, yada. Allow, allow, allow. Once it's done allowing, click next. And from there, you're going to specify what webhook you want to use or what channel from Slack you want to use. So it's basically webhooks because that's where we did the incoming trigger for bot messages. So since it is using a bot message with the uh, module script, we're going to say true for that. All right, now we're going to connect our Discord. And it's pretty simple. Uh, so I'm just going to put in this details real quick. 
All right, so once you log in, you're going to choose a server. I'm just going to use this test server. Continue. Have it do all of that. Complete the CAPTCHA. It knows I'm good because I've done the CAPTCHA so many times. Now, it'll basically, uh, which channel do you want to use? I, I literally just made this test server right now, so I, that's the only <laughs> channel I have, so I'm just going to use that one. All right, so this one. Um, so basically what this bot name is, is for anything, basically this integration right here, it'll say incoming dash webhook. If you don't want that, uh, I like to just remove it and then call it just Roblox bot. And then the text is, you obviously need that. So uh, if you want this, you can have this. If you want an icon, I don't know, you can, I don't know. Yeah. After that. You can test it, so we can see when we test it, it should work. So we're going to send the test. And as you can see here, it works. Added an integration to this. Okay. All right, and turn it on. Okay. Now that we have that done, we're actually going to go back into the game and actually start uh scripting this stuff okay we can exit out of this so for it to go through slack right we're gonna go back here we have our url right now what we're gonna do here is we're going to create a function so we're gonna do a function bot module let's make sure we just i'm just gonna copy this and then we can just say send send message and then in the parameters, we're going to put message. You can shorten this if you want. It's okay. Um, after that, we're going to use HTTP. So this will basically make it into like a, a table of some sort. I don't know how to... Sorry. I don't know how to actually like... I haven't been on Roblox in a while. So the fact that I just figured this out today is pretty cool. So yeah, just, just copy what I'm doing. But from here, we're basically going to encode something, basically a table of some sort, and it'll, it'll, yeah, <laughs> I'm so bad at explaining things, guys, sorry. Anyways, so after that, so uh, in order to, like, get the text through Slack, uh, the parameter for this is called text equals, and then we're going to use this message up here. And then so you want to make sure that you do this uh, apostrophe apostrophe dot dot message dot dot. So that way it's in, uh, I don't know, anything that could be like numbers or something, it doesn't error and all that. So yeah, uh, if you if there's other things that you want to add, just make sure you add a comma or a semicolon. But there's really nothing else that I'm adding. It's just text. And from there, you're going to do HTTP semicolon post async from there we're going to use the url and then put in the personal message we can just call this like slack message to make it more like sophisticated or make it make more sense and then you're basically done so from there we can literally like just yeah you should call this bot module or something and then we can go into here and then we can just, uh, yeah, we can just send this. So in order to get that, we need to do local. Uh, I like to do server storage. You can also just do SS and then game, get service, uh, server storage. From there, we do local bot module equals SS dot bot module. We don't need to wait for child because everything from anything in the server you don't need to wait for child or find first child, all that. And then we can just wait five seconds. And then instead of printing this, we can do bot module uh, send. Wait, was it send? Yeah. Right? Send message. Now, what we're gonna, what's going to happen is it's going to wait five seconds. And from there, it'll go to Slack. And then you'll see it go to discord so we can just test this pull this down it should work
Okay, I forgot my error. You, you, you're supposed to require. <laughs> yeah, I forgot to require, guys. All right, now it should work. So make sure you, instead of just uh, finding it, you got to require it too. Okay, now we go back. Try it again. Discord and Slack. Hello world. And then here. Hello world. Bang. It's a Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will put this uh, bot module script in the description. So make sure you just uh, copy and paste that. Other than that, this is Luke Gabriel here signing out. Peace. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.